How's it going guys? Welcome back to Make It and Break It. My name's Andrew and today we're doing a quick little video on, uh, on something I did to make my life a little bit easier around the shop. So right beside me you see my two bender. This is a Rogue Fab uh, M600 HD I believe and we're using it to bend some tubes for our Project Hyper Tannery Yamaha R6 adventure bike build over here on the left. And uh, I was messing around with it, checking it out, and I realized that there's something that really annoys me about this bender. So this is our Rogue Fab tube bender here, and the tube bender itself is actually really good. I like the way it's set up, and the problem isn't with the tube bender, it's with the air hydraulic ram that you've got to get to make it work. So one of the things that make this tube bender awesome is that you put an air hydraulic ram in here and then I don't have to like be cranking on it or use the handle down over here to pump a bajillion times in order to, to extend it and bend tubes. The problems co start coming in when you want to bend a tube and then bring it back. So on this ram and a bunch of other rams, like an engine hoist ram over there, right? Uh, they share a similar thing with a lot of floor jacks in that when you want to release the pressure, you have to grab your handle. In this case, it's this lovely orange awesome thing. And come in here on this little th release valve and undo it and then redo it. This is very annoying, especially with something like this, where you don't have to have the handle in order to use it. In fact, this handle is probably going to be sitting somewhere in the back corner of the shop or lost at some point or another. And then I got to go dig it out just to pull a tube out of the tube bender. Those of you who watched me pull an engine, any of the engines we pulled with that voice know, I spend a significant amount of time looking for the handle so I can release the pressure. But with the magic of 3D printing, we have solved this problem or made it less of an annoyance with this little knob thing. So I went in and designed this little knob to make my life so much easier here. So you can just take this thing, go down here and install it on here. Just press it straight on. And now instead of having to fish for the handle, We can just extend the ram. And then all you do is come in here and turn this knob. You can snug it back up and go all over again. All without any tools whatsoever. No need to go grab for that handle. That's very annoying. And when you lose the handle inevitably for something like this, you don't have to make something new. You already have it, already have the solution in hand on the thing. And the cool thing is if you need the handle for some reason, if you're starting to get some leaking or something like that, the, I designed this so that you can just pop it back off and put the handle back on and really tighten it down if you need to. So it's that simple to take a 3D printer and create yourself something to make your life just so much easier and save literally for me hours because I forget these handles everywhere all the time and if I don't have to go looking for them I can quickly get about my business and doing doing the real jobs I want to go do pulling engines bending tube all that sort of thing so if you're interested in this sort of solution there's a couple options in the description down below first one if you have your own 3d printer you can go right to uh, the thingiverse link that's going to be in the description down below and grab a copy of this file and you can print them. Uh, do pay attention to the type of fitting that your hydraulic ram, uh, bottle jack, whatever you're using this for, 
has. Uh, there's a couple designs on there, one for a notch tile fitting, which is what my hydraulogram over here on the uh, pipe bender has, or a sort of round barrel style fitting, which is what is on my engine hoist. So there's a couple designs, one for each style. Uh, there is also another uh, cast style out there that I don't have on hand to design, but uh, if someone uh, wants to shoot me a link to one of those, I'll definitely update the description and put one of those up in the Thingiverse. If you don't have yourself a 3D printer to print one of these, that's okay. Uh, check the link down below to my eBay store, believe it or not. So I 3D print some products and sell them on eBay. Uh, I've been into... Uh, sluice box mat so if you've ever been mining uh, the way they get the gold out is to run the concentrate through a giant essentially fish ladder in reverse and all the gold settle out and so I make uh, molds that uh, miners can go then and make with silicone or some other type of pourable rubber uh, and create their own custom mats so I sell that stuff on the side, I'm going to throw, I think, an exploratory uh, amount of these up as well in both sizes, I think. And uh, so if you don't have a 3D printer to print your own, these should be available for a relatively reasonable cost. Uh, I haven't done the final math, but you'll see what that actual cost is if you follow the link. So thanks for watching, guys. My name's Andrew. It's another Make and Break YouTube video. Just a quick 3D printed tools and tips. So thanks for watching questions, comments, concerns, if you're curious about how I designed these and what I did, my thinking process for these uh, specific pieces, uh, I'm willing to explain all of it, comment section down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.